Hey, hello, my friend. Do you know what's your mission as an artist? Yes. What is your mission? What is specifically is your mission in this world as an artist? You will say, well, making art. Well, of course, but beyond that, you know, what is specifically separates you from all the artists in the world? What's your specific mission as an artist? And that is something I want to show you in this video with a super simple three-step process, a simple framework that you can use to define what your mission is as an artist. So stay tuned, it's gonna be really awesome. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome back. Super happy to connect here with you and teach you this three-step framework that will allow you to discover what your mission is as an artist, to identify your mission as an artist, you know, so that you can take this statement or this mission and say, yeah, this is what I'm all about. This is what makes me excited when I wake up in the morning. You know, if I see that, like, you know, this is, this is who I am, right? You want to embody that mission when you walk into your studio. It doesn't matter if you've been making art for three months or three years or 30 years. Everyone, everyone can benefit from this quick exercise. I've been making art for over 30 years. And again, I went through this exercise myself and I discovered my mission. So stay all the way until the end of this video because I'm going to share with you what I came up with, with what my mission is as an artist. And I'm very excited with my mission. I have it now on my website. I have it everywhere on my emails because that is my mission as an artist. When I read it, you know, I get goosebumps. Like, this is exciting. This is who I am. This is why I wake up every morning. This is why I, I walk into a studio because I have a mission. I'm an artist on a mission. You may have heard me talking about I'm an artist on a mission. You are an artist on a mission. Well, let's figure that out together. And you guys know that I like to simplify ideas into simple frameworks. So we're going to learn here you know, how to find your mission using a three-step framework. So let's get started. All you need is some a, a shape that I've been using for a long time through all my frameworks, the, all my frameworks, or I would say most of my frameworks, use this exact same shape. What is it? It's a pyramid. It's a triangular shape. So all you got to do is take a pen or pencil on a piece of paper, on a sticky note if you want, and just create a triangular shape. Again, just a, a, a pyramid. Make a triangular shape. Anyone can do that. And we're going to use that shape in order to discover this framework that will allow you to find your mission as an artist. And I'm going to ask you very specific questions as we go through each corner of that pyramid. So at the very tippy top, at the top of the pyramid, what you want to do is you want to put the word identity. Yes, the word identity or your uniqueness, right? What uh, identity should be at the top. We all have a different identity. You know, all of us, all the millions of people that have walked before us who are walking this planet right now and we will walk this planet in the future have a different identity, right? We have a different, a different DNA. We are all made a little different. There's, we may look alike in many ways, but, you know, there are differences. And that's exactly what we're looking at. I want you to answer this question as you think about the idea of identity in your own art. What unique elements define my art and differentiate it from other artists? You know, what are some of those unique elements that are on my work? It, may, it could be the way you, you, uh, uh, you know, use the medium, maybe it's related to your technique, maybe it's the way related to your approach, maybe the way you look at certain aspects. Of, uh, of your subjects, you know, in your own words, what, what did you bring to the world of art, right, through the art that you create? And for those of you who have been making art for a long time, this might be an easier question to answer because maybe you have already asked yourself this question before, particularly perhaps if you uh, work on an artist's statement and so on. But this video is, is, is beyond the artist's statement, right? It's, this is like a, a purpose uh, on on your mission, right? Beginning a, a statement of purpose that's gonna uh, wake up your mission. So you gotta find what what is your identity as an artist, right? What identifies you? What's the DNA? In other words, describe the DNA of the art that you create right now in this moment. Because this mission, 
you know, artists on a mission statement that we are working here together, you know, has to reflect who you are now, not who you were 10 years ago or who you may want to be 30 years from now. You know, it's, who, it's what you're doing right now. And that's the beautiful thing about this. Is it can change over time because we as artists, we continue to evolve and change. But it's important to define, you know, what we're doing right now so we can feel excited for that. So uh, I'll give you an example. In my case, if I were to answer the question, what unique elements define my art uh, from or differentiated from other people, other artists? Well, in my, in my case, uh, I like to uh, work with the figure and I'm inspired by the figure, by the cycles of life. And so I try to bring that into how I portray the figure. I don't do portraits, but rather my figures are like auras, like, you know, energy, like light, uh, shadows. You know, I like this idea of, of the presence of the individual is more important to me than the likeness, you know, how that person looks like uh, to me. How it feels to know someone is more important though than how, you know, that person looks like. So when I meet a person, I like to remember how it felt, you know, to have known that person. So I try to, to embody that in, in my work, in my paintings, right? That's not to say that you have to create something that nobody has ever done or a technique that nobody has ever done before you or after you, you know, because that is very difficult. Uh, you know, uh, there's so much art in the world that is so difficult to create something that nobody has ever, ever, ever thought about or done before. You know, uh, as artists, we re we keep continue reinventing, you know, uh, themes, ideas, ways of making that others have done and continue to do. And, and that is okay. You know, your art may look, uh, have some similarities to other artists, but in the way that you, you uh, absorb the world and you put it out there through your art, you know, identify what some of those things are for you. Second one, as you look at this pyramid or, or, or this uh, triangular shape, pick another corner at the bottom and put the word connection. So we look at identity, now let's talk about connection. Connection is also very important. And this one, you're going to answer this question. How do I want my art to resonate with my audience? And what kind of impact do I want to have on my audience? You know, the art that I create, how does my art connect? with the audience, right? Who is who is open to receive what I have uh, for them, what I have created. So it's a very important question. It's a, it's a question of connection, right? The first one on identity, the DNA of your art is highly related to, to uh, you know, the actual physicality of your art and what is it that you make. This one is more of a question of a deeper level, right? More on the, on the uh, mental, psychological aspect of how we connect with, you know, with other people through our art. So it's a great, great question. How do I want my art to resonate with others? How do I want my art to impact others, right? Or my audience. And to help you maybe also answering this question, I'll tell you how I would answer, you know, that question according to my art. It's how I have done it already in this process, also doing it myself as an artist. And I would say that in my work, I want people to, connected in a way that when they see my art, they feel that there's some sort of spiritual connection uh, to my work, right? That they feel that it's, I'm trying to convey something that that has more than flesh and bones, right? That what I'm trying to do as an artist is, is to, to really, uh, you know, convey or, or express or explore uh, this idea of spirituality, you know, what's beyond uh, this work. And and I try to do that in my paintings. And I want that when people look at my work, they can see that, right? That, that, that's the, the, the point of connection for me. And a person who is in tune with that message will look at my art and they'll say, oh, you know, I see some spiritual components to it. And not every, by the way, not everybody's going to connect with your art. And that is fine. Your art is not for everyone. That could be a whole other video, <laughs> which I actually have created a video that's called Your Art is Not for Everyone. But that's a reality. Your art is not going to connect with the whole world. It's going to connect with just a few. But those few who connect with it, you know, they will find something that pulls them in, that attracts them, that brings them in. Could be the story, the way you, you know, you, uh, you portray uh, your narrative, you know, 
uh, the way of your way of working, whatever, you know, there's going to be an element that somebody's going to connect with and that uh, we attracted to that. That's your point of connection, right? That's where, that's where the dialogue begins. And art is about that, right? Art is about creating a dialogue where your art commands a certain presence, it says something that somebody looks at that, responds to that, and now the dialogue begins where the person begins to to have a dialogue with your art and thinking about, you know, what is it, what am I seeing? You know, how am I, what, what do I feel? You know, why do I like it? Why, why am I attracted to that work? And so on, and that dialogue can continue for a few minutes or a few hours, you know, depends on the person. So if, as you look at your pyramid, um, we have identified two corners. The third corner of that pyramid, you're gonna put the word legacy. That's a beautiful word. It's called legacy. It's a word that took me a really long time to get to understand better, begin to to analyze that word better. Uh, legacy didn't, didn't really matter to me when I was younger, when I was a 20 year old artist, when I was a 30 year old artist. The word legacy, you know, really had no much meaning for me. But as I, I hit my 40s, now that I hit my 50s, you know, uh, I'm really thinking about that word more and more and more often. And it was what a wonderful word. I wish I had thought about that word much earlier. But, you know, as I define my, uh, my mission as an artist, I want to make sure that it aligns with the legacy that I want to leave behind. And so... For the word legacy, there's again, I have one question for you to answer. And the question is, what enduring mark do I want to leave on the art world or society or my community or, you know, those who know me, those who know my work? You know, what is that uh, enduring mark, right, that will outlast me, you know, as I'm gone, but my art stays behind? And it's a it's an important it's a deep question it's an important question that you know I really did not take time to answer like I said until much more later in life when I became more in tune with this idea of legacy as I get older like you know what what am I doing this for you know what am I what do I want to leave behind what do I what do I want my eulogy to be right when I'm gone what what do I want people to say about me and my art when I'm when I'm gone and that's a that's a question of legacy so. To answer that question, you know, you're asking yourself, what enduring mark, right, do I want to leave behind? You can say, well, just my art, you know, that let the art speak for itself. And it will, you know, when you're gone, hey, there's no other choice. However, you know, being conscious about that idea helps us also to be more, have more intention when we talk about our art, when we share our art with the world, with others in our social media, when we're sending emails, when we're talking to collectors, when, when we're talking to strangers, you know, at the bus stop, when we're talking to other people, you know, answering that question is super important. In my case, again, as I'm sharing a little bit of, of uh, how I'm answering each question for me as an artist, as I look at my art, uh, the legacy that I want to leave behind is, or the mark that I'm trying to leave behind is, you know, I want to be said that I was an artist who was in tune with the human condition, you know, that my art, which you'll see back there, one of my pieces, you know, uh, reflected the human condition. There was something about me as a person and my art that was in tune with the human condition. The things that we go through in life, happiness, sorrow, uh, joyfulness, excitement, sadness, you know, all those, all those human emotions, you know, as I experience them in my life, and then as I make the art that I make, right? Trying to express those things so that when the viewer looks at them, you know, either now or 20 or 50 years from now when I'm gone, you know, they they they, they catch uh, that mark that I wanted to leave, which is the human condition. So think about that, you know, and, and, and that could look ex however you want it, you know? I'm just giving you kind of how I answer those questions, but there's nothing special or magical or anything about my answers. You come up with your own. By the way, there's no right or wrong answer. No, this is not something that you're going to, uh, you know, give to somebody to, to grade or uh, you get certified. You know, this is just for you. It's just for, just for you. I'm, I'm not going to say it's for the form because it's not for the form. It's, it's very serious work that you're going to do to help you, you know, visualize what your mission is as an artist. You know, what is it that you are doing? It's, it's should, if you do it correctly, it should make you excited. 
not make you all depressed. It should make you excited. Like, you know, I'm excited for working on my mission, right? Uh, there's something about we admire when we look at people who are on mission, right? Who have a mission in the world. You're an artist. Every time you walk in your studio, believe it or not, even if you have never written down, you are actually embodying that mission by making the art. All I'm doing here in this video is giving you a simple framework to verbalize what you're already doing, right? Uh, and to be able to then speak about it with more clarity. So when you think about that and when you answer all these three questions, when you look at your identity, you know, your uniqueness, what differentiates you, when you look at your connection, you know, what, uh, what resonates with, what do you want to resonate with, uh, you know, when it comes to your audience and other people that encounter your art and the legacies you want to leave behind, now you have a really beautiful uh, framework or picture of intention. It's a mission is about intention, right? It's about intentionality. Now you could actually take everything that you wrote and use a tool to now start coming up with a sentence or a paragraph uh, that you can start working with. So what I recommend is you take these answers to these questions, type them somewhere. Um, they don't have to be super well spelled out. You know, just type the ideas. Go to a tool like ChatGPT or any other artificial intelligence model that can help you with this. I use ChatGPT for mine. And I went to ChatGPT. I and I, this is the prompt that you can use. Uh, you just say, please help me write a mission statement for me as an artist based on the answers to these questions. So you put question one, two, and three. You put the answers, <laughs> right? You just pretty much you copy them, paste them into ChatGPT with that prompt. Please help me write a mission statement for my art based on the answers to these questions. And you click enter and ChatGPT is going to go, you know, look at patterns. It's going to look at the words that you use. It's going to look at the ideas, the intent. And it's going to give you a result that you may agree or may disagree with, right? Whichever the case, you continue working at it. You can look at the result, which is usually it's going to be a one or two paragraphs. Typically, it will be a one paragraph. And then you go to ChatGPT and you say, well, you know, I agree with this part. I disagree with this part. I, what I would like to emphasize more this or that. I had to do all that on mine. You know, I, I had to say I want to emphasize more the human condition because the, the legacy part is very important for me more than, you know, describing the quality of the art. So I, I focus on mine more on the legacy part and the connection that I want to have with the viewer. Um, and that's that's what I, uh, you know, I worked on ChatGPT to, to um, you know, to make it more clear. So uh, after you work with that, you know, you get a nice statement that you like, you can then go further and say another prompt that says, um, you know, make it shorter, make it shorter. And I went to make it shorter, shorter until I was able to summarize that into one sentence. And I'm going to share with you what my mission is. I believe I'm an artist on a mission. I wake up every morning. I remind myself I'm an artist on a mission, right? My mission is to create art as a sanctuary where the spiritual intersects with the human condition. That's my mission, to create art that is a sanctuary, right? When I went to my studio and I started making a painting, I believe I'm creating a sanctuary, right? Where some of the, my ideas will, will exist, will live. So I'm creating a sanctuary where the spiritual components that I strongly believe intersect, you know, interact, engage, with the human condition, with my human experience. And that's my mission. That, my friend, makes me so excited to walk in the studio. That makes me so excited to look at my art and say, this is what I want to accomplish. You know, within that, there are many topics and themes and ideas that I can still, you know, uh, look over my art. You know, the idea is not to create a mission statement that is going to be so tight that, uh, you know, you have no space for freedom. Actually, it's the other way around. I believe your mission statement should liberate you. You know, it should give you the freedom to say, this is what I do and this, I'm excited to do it. And I, I cannot wait for my next work to get started because I'm an artist on a mission. So my friend, hope you enjoy this three-step framework. Hope you use it. Hope you find it useful for your art career. Hope you begin to apply it as well. And if you actually did it, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. And if you follow this, my friend, and if you, uh, here's one more thing. If you want to use a step-by-step -step on how to do this, 
if you want to also get a handout that you can use to fill this whole thing out and can help you out, uh, I have a, a free tool that where pretty much you can do this too. Just go under um, the description of this video and you will find a link, which will be the artistnextlevel.com right slash artist on a mission. And that there you can, you know, watch this video again. You can download the handout so that you can just fill things out, you know, with additional questions that can help you out, you know, make all this more clear for you. And then you're all set, you know, you can then do that and have that also ready. And you can print that out you know, as many times as you want once you have the link or the PDF that, that you can download and use it and share it and whatever you want to do as well. So thank you, my friend, for watching. I will see you very soon. And uh, if you are ready to work with me, I invite you to sign up at the artistnextlevel.com. Take my Art Business Grow Challenge that's going to help you take your mission right and teach you how to take it out into the world through all your marketing through all your organization productivity your studio practice your mindset your wellness all the aspects that build an art career that's what we do we help parties just like you whether are starting mid-career or established you know to take their art business or art career to the next level so hope to be working with you very soon we'll see you in the next episode goodbye but wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.